Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to us to heal us and to give us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as God is faithful, our word to you is not yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was proclaimed to you by us, Silvanus and Timothy and me, was not yes and no but yes has been in him. For however many are the promises of God, 
their yes is in Him. Therefore, the Amen from us also goes through Him to God for glory. But the one who gives us security with you in Christ and who anointed us is God. He has also put His seal upon us and given the Spirit in our hearts as a first installment. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. Lord, let your face shine on me. The revelation of your words sheds light, gives understanding to the simple. Lord, let your face shine on me. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. Lord, let your face shine on me. Turn to me in pity as you turn to those who love your name. Lord, let your face shine on me. Steady my footsteps according to your promise, and let no iniquity rule over me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Let your countenance shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. Lord, let your face shine on me. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But what if salt loses its taste? With what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today point out the fact that in our Christian life, consistency matters. In our first reading today, St. Paul talks about yes and no. And he tells the Corinthians, our word to you is not yes and no, but always yes to God. Because God, because Jesus, is always yes to God. And so we are always consistent in giving our yes to God after the example of Jesus. No inconsistencies. No contradiction. We say yes to God 
and our lives manifest that yes that we have given to God. Hindi yung nagsasalita ng isang bagay, iba naman ang ginagawa. Nangangako ng isang bagay, hindi naman tinutupad. Iba ang lumalabas sa bibig, iba naman ang ikinikilos at ugali. That is inconsistency. St. Paul says, because Jesus is always yes, then those who follow Jesus must also be consistent with their yes to God. In our Gospel, Jesus describes who a Christian is in relation to the world. By using metaphors, Jesus said, You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. By saying this, Jesus means that a true follower of Christ gives a Christian flavor to the earth. Just as salt adds flavor to food, a Christian must give flavor to the earth. And the Christian has only one flavor, that is the flavor of Jesus. Ang tunay na Kristiyano nagbibigay ng lasa at ang lasang ibinibigay niya ay si Jesus. It would be inconsistent for a Christian who follows Jesus to be flavorless. Ang isang Kristiyano walang lasang ibinibigay sa mundo ay hindi tunay na Kristiyano. Inconsistent yung salitang Kristiyano sa hindi nagbibigay ng lasa ni Jesus. In the same way that we are light of the world, and if we are true followers of Jesus, if we claim to be Christians, then we should always exude the light of Christ. Not my own light, not the light of this world, but only the light of Jesus. And that should be a consistent light, not a flickering one. Ang liwanag natin hindi dapat aandap-andap. Maliwanag sa isang panahon, madilim sa isang panahon. Consistent light, palaging nagliliwanag. My dear brothers and sisters, let us admit that many times we tend to be inconsistent. Napakaraming inconsistencies sa ating buhay. We say yes to God, but we also say no to Him. We say yes to God, but we also say no to the things against God. Very inconsistent. We are Christians, and yet, we allow ourselves to be influenced by the world instead of Christians influencing the world. Very inconsistent. We are Christians, but our principles are against the teachings of Jesus. Ang mga paniniwala natin at ang pamumuhay natin taliwas sa ating identity bilang mga Kristiyano. Very inconsistent. We call ourselves Christians. We utter things about God and about our faith. Pero iba naman ang ating pamumuhay. Very inconsistent. We look holy inside the church. But outside the church, we become a totally different person, very inconsistent. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for the gift of consistency, that what we profess with our lips and what we show in our lives may be consistent. 
Because for Jesus, inconsistency is hypocrisy and consistency is holiness. Please stand. Let us pray to God, the Father of light, that we may be faithful to our mission of being the light and salt of the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may show the power and radiance of the Spirit to all seeking the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the brilliance of the gospel may enlighten men and women entrusted with decisions for the development of peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we, called to be salt and light of the world, may become a source of hope and comfort to our fellow men. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick, the depressed, and the heartbroken may discover the light of Christ through the ministry of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That eternal light may shine on the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Let us pray for our own petitions. Let us pray for the people who need our prayers. And let us also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, as we pray for others, we ask you to help us shine in their sight so that they may praise your goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration 
we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.